Hello, everyone who's watching. Welcome to this 14th UVAC Short Film Festival edition. I'm happy to be here with Rodrigo Faustini, who is a filmmaker from Brazil. How are you, Rodrigo? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm very happy to, to join. Well, we're very pleased uh, that you're here with us. My name is Alex Villasenor, and we want to talk about you uh, and your project. So for start, uh, why don't you tell us some, a little bit about your project, your short film uh, titled Brum of the Willow. Yes, uh, in, in the original title in Portuguese is Rocio das Vagas. It's, it was kind of difficult for me to translate, but I think Room of the Billows was a way because it's a film about uh, our relation to the sea and the sea as a landscape, uh, not only as a landscape, but also as a place where communications break down and where uh, signals also emerge. And it, it's kind of a weird way how it came about, but basically I found uh, Super 8 films on the street uh, a couple of years ago, and they were like a black box. I don't know if you know how uh, Super 8 films are shot. They're like a little box you put on the camera and you shoot. Yes. So I found these and they were shot, but never had, had been developed. And they were from the 70s. So I actually got around to let me show you how I actually got around to sending them to a lab from a friend of mine. And it's kind of interesting that they were a color process from the 70s. And nowadays it's kind of hard to 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 develop develop them that way. So we actually got around to making them black and white negatives. Okay, okay. And uh, when I first saw them, I discovered they were films about the beach. And this was kind of curious because the first uh, Super 8 uh, role I shot was also from uh, a trip to the beach. And I think it's kind of common that people travel and they want to record their travels. So I decided to like mix all of these together. And when I shot my film, I was using uh, a camera from the grandfather of my friend. And it was like a broken camera. So also when I was shooting, I was creating information, but also deleting and losing information because of the broken camera. So I found that the, this was a common thing between the films. They were like creating information and losing information. And they were like out of joint with time. Okay. And uh, so I decided to <laughs> mix all of these uh, strange ideas. And also I was inspired by the fact that uh, at least uh, here in Brazil, it was still when we go to the beach and all of that stuff, we lose connections to mobile phones, Wi-Fi and all that stuff because most uh, beach regions are kind of far away or peripheral. So it's a, a, a place where communications break down, but also a place where we want to make images and we want to live in a different time. Sure, and I can assume that was uh, not easy to make, but uh, we, we would like to know what were the uh, challenges that you had during this process of filming and creating your project? I think the... The biggest problem was actually conceptually because in a way, uh, a lot of things were uh, were happening by chance that I, I found an old camera, that I found a place where that uh, could develop the film, that I could find the film. But uh, in my mind, uh, the biggest problem was like, well, how does, can this become a movie? Can I experiment in, with this and create a, a new form and find a new way to make these things talk. And uh, the, the light bulb idea happened when I realized that when I shot the, the film in the, with the broken camera, something that happened was that some segments went blank. So I like shot 10 seconds blank, 10 seconds blank. And in these blank uh, segments, I inserted uh, the, the other films. Yes. So it was like uh, automatically my film already asked for 
other images to to come in and then i started overlaying things <laughs> well that sounds really really challenging i mean i i can't even imagine doing that <laughs> But uh, we would like to talk now about the creative process that you had during the filming and before you started. What was your creative process like? So, yeah, it's very empirical because, like I said, I, I am very open to chance and to uh, finding and improvising and finding things on the spot. But I, I do have like something guiding me like uh, when i was at the beach i wanted to make a, a film that was about uh, the house that we stay when we are going to the beach so there's no actually beach pictures so i only had like inside home uh, images so you had like this kind of of play of inside and outside so when i found these other films uh, in the, in the street, they were actually films in the beach. So they were the outside images that were lacking in my original film. So that was uh, something that connected. So I'm really open to chance, but also I'm trying to see the small links and patterns that can emerge. Well, that's really, really interesting. And finally, we would like to know uh, for you, Rodrigo, what do you expect uh, from people to take out of your project? I think it's a, a really open uh, film. I really, like I said, I like I don't uh, close all the, the meaning for myself. I also don't do this for, for the audience. So I think there's layers and ways of, of receiving the, the film. I think there's a, the, the sensation you have to seeing all this weird ghost images and the, the kind of time loop that you get into. That's something I definitely want people to, to feel. But also to try to find patterns and try to find meanings because there's a lot of symbols in the film, a lot of things that just pop up. So they're really inviting your own world to fill in what is happening. Well, that, that's amazing. I mean, symbolisms uh, are great for us to receive information. So we have nothing but to say thank you, Rodrigo. We, we wish you the best luck in this festival, in this edition, and in all, all, in all of your different projects. And thank you for this time, this interview. And for all the people watching, thank you. My name is Alex Villasenor, and I hope that you enjoyed this talk with Rodrigo as much as I did. Thank you very much. Thank you. And Thank you a lot for the festival, for having an experimental section. That's very, very important. Thank you. Thank you.